All right, guys, we can break down Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu can be trained in two ways. You can train in the gi, and you can train without the gi, and we would just call that no gi grappling. No gi. Gi, no gi. Which do you prefer? Which is better? Well, there's pros and cons to both, to be fully honest with you. Most people are going to lean to one or the other that they prefer. Some train both. Some gyms are exclusively no gi. Some gyms are exclusively gi, and other gyms like ours offer classes for both. But today, I want to share three reasons why you will benefit training in the gi. All right, reason number one that training in the gi is beneficial is that it increases creativity. The creative options that are available to the gi are absolutely amazing. Think about it. You can use these lapels right? You can use your opponent's lapel to trap an arm. You can use it to submit them. You can use either one of their lapels. Oh, and if that doesn't work, you can revert to your own lapel. You can do this from the top. You can do it from the bottom to get out of a bad position. You can use it for submission. You can put your foot in a lapel and wrap it around the... My point is, it's fun to be creative with the gi. I love the creativity. I think that's fantastic. I think it's fun to explore. As a matter of fact, I recently saw an article about Demetrius Johnson went down and competed at PANS, one of the biggest events we have in grappling. And I wondered, it's interesting, a guy like that who's one of the greatest MMA competitors of all time, as sport jiu-jitsu has skyrocketed, has done so predominantly with no-gi grappling. That's really what's become so popular. Interesting that he chose gi. Why? I think partly because of the creativity. You can be so creative and it's just fun to explore those creative options. That's one benefit to jiu-jitsu and the gi. All right, benefit number two, training in the gi is this right here. Everything that you do and learn in no gi, I can also apply to gi training. In other words, if I want to do a role, and our coach will sometimes do this, he'll say, hey guys, all right, this role, five minutes, no grips. No grips. Part of the downfall to gi training is you can always get used to and lean too much on grips. It is good to be challenged not to have that. But here's the reality. I can still wear my gi and do no gi grappling. I just do so without grips. So, and I do this on occasion. I really do. Some of the techniques I'm working on right now are techniques that will apply to both gi or no gi. So I like to use those. I'm not limited in that. I can always practice it. Does it work the other way around, right? You learn some things in the gi that we can't do in no gi. I like that option. I think that's beneficial. All right, reason number three that gi training is beneficial to you is that it will slow things down. This is one thing I noticed early on is that when I went to no gi, things happened so fast. And in some ways, that's kind of good. I, I like that. And not that gi training is slow by any means. I just mean that it slows things down in a good way. It allows you to process, gives more space for you to process what's going on. Especially as you're starting out, this can be really helpful. When In a no-gi training, things are happening so fast, you're like, what is going on? It's nice to slow things down so your mind can kind of process what's really taking place. I like that in the gi, things slow down. I think this is beneficial, not only for how you can learn, but just how you can process, how you can see opportunities that you might have missed if it went by so fast. So I like that it does that. I think that's helpful for our jiu-jitsu. But I want to know from you guys, what are some benefits you've seen to gi training? Guys, thanks so much for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. And we want to keep content coming your way that's going to benefit you and your jiu-jitsu.